my name is Lucy, and so I am gonna be driving in my little kid Tesla. This is our little kid Tesla and the kids just love it. We acquired this about six months ago and uh, the people that we got it from had had it for 18 months themselves. So I was just going to do a quick little review of this Radio Flyer Model S and kind of show you how it has held up or not held up uh, over the course of uh, roughly two years of children using it. Uh, first thing to note potentially is that the hood is missing. Uh, we actually do have that. Um, this is what the hood looks like on here. So that's what it's really supposed to look like, and uh, the kids just tend to take the hood off because they want to ride in the front. In this case, the hood kind of comes up and it will stay just like that, but you'll notice that the hinge on this side is completely busted off. And then also, there's normally a mechanism right here that I think has a piece of metal on it or a magnet that is supposed to connect right here so that it keeps the door uh, shut. But what happens is because that's not there anymore, as the kids ride around and the sidewalk is bumpy, this, this falls forward kind of like that. And so it kind of looks dumpy, <laughs> just hanging on the front like that. So that's one another reason why we tend to just leave it off. If we continue on around the vehicle, you can see there are many scratches and um, you know signs of use. Uh, and then here on the back, it is missing the trunk cover as well which the kids are actually totally fine with. They don't even probably know that that ever existed. And they like that the switch is accessible for the speed. And then as we continue around, uh, you can see just overall signs of scratches and children driving it. Uh, here, this side mirror on the driver's side is um, completely gone. <laughs> um, and then over here in the front, the front fenders get pretty beat up because this vehicle is fairly low, like the real Model S is. Um, and when they hit curbs and whatnot, that just gets bashed pretty bad. Um, pretty much everything you see was like that when we got it. Um, our children have probably added a few more scuffs themselves. Moving up here into the cockpit, the horn doesn't work at all. The auxiliary port here, which is for you know your sound system, plus it has the little um, pocket down here for putting your cell phone. The pocket's obviously still there, um, but this is the remnants of the headphone jack. It's busted off and does not work at all. However, the headlights do work still, so if I turn that on here, come up here to the front. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but the headlights are on, both of them. So those have some level of staying power. And then up here is the buttons for going forward and backward. And they are they still work, but they're pretty stiff. So the younger kids have a pretty hard time pushing these and often will not succeed. And they'll think they have reversed and then they run into something <laughs> going forward. Uh, the steering wheel in general is pretty much uh, as it was originally. And the tire wear is fairly significant. Most of the lines are almost gone. The rear tires are even more worn. So if I tilt this up on its side, the uh, rear tires are basically just hard plastic slicks by this point, both of them. They slide a lot. So what I'm looking at doing is actually finding some rubber to just uh, wrap these so that they have better traction, plus to make it more quiet. Um, I found this thing to be way loud for an electric vehicle. The motors themselves emit quite the whine. And uh, the uh, sound of the hard plastic on 
uh, gravel and, and rocks that are on the pavement just make for a pretty loud ride. One thing that I don't love about it is that the throttle is completely on or off. It has no variability, so when they push that throttle, it just goes and then stops. It does go on the grass just fine, but it does slow it down a little bit and I'm sure it uses up more battery in doing so. In short, would I recommend getting a used kid Tesla? Well, yes, by all means, they work great and kids are kind of hard on equipment like this, so you might as well get one that's already been used and abused and uh, you can uh, let the kids just ride it all they want. You don't need to worry about its condition. He's gonna hit the rocks right there. That oh rock. no, she's way too close. <sighs> all right, let's have her. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to scratch the Tesla. And, and it still drives them around just fine, as long as it does that, I guess I should say then by all means get it. You know, in our case, the people that gave it to us um, had mentioned that it had been out in the rain at times and it didn't work. We didn't know exactly what, but um, I ended up calling a radio flyer and try to try to find out what was wrong. And the battery, when I plugged it in, had lights blinking on the charger, etc. And in troubleshooting it, they determined that the battery was bad and they just sent a new one under warranty. So I didn't have to pay anything and they just sent a new battery and plugged it in and then the car continued to work just fine. The uh, charge port door here on the Kid Tesla is super cute. You can see it is somewhat shaped like the real Tesla charger adapter. It's just a little manual door that pops out there. That surprisingly has not been broken off on this. This is how well the underside has fared. You can see it has a fair number of scratches and dings on it and wear points when it has probably been ridden off a curb or something. Um, the back end here definitely got a lot of abrasion there. Definitely all cosmetic, nothing of it is functional. One thing I wanted to point out is right here on the wheel, it's getting so worn out that the um, there's starting to be holes in the hard plastic here that's wearing thin. So this is another reason why I need to find some other material to wrap it with. So I'm gonna go work on that and see what I can come up with. There are some wires down here on the underside and those have been worn on and impacted a little bit. So uh, luckily that hasn't caused any uh, problems but is potentially a problem down the road how they just have wires coming out the bottom here and going up the side right there the front wheels as I said before are in way better condition they're still pretty worn down though uh, it looks like it's wearing unevenly this side is more worn out than this side and that's the that's the inside that's worn and down here on this tire these are worn a little bit more on the inside as well but a little bit more even back tires are both just completely <laughs> bald, shredded. Another thing on the bottom that I found is, if you look down here, this is what it's supposed to be. You can see that there's a kind of metal washer here with a bolt on the end, and so the tire stays in place vertically. Well, this one here, that bolt came off some time ago. I have no idea when, before we got it. And so this moves up and down. It hasn't really caused any problems because if it goes up too far, it still doesn't come off. But it hasn't really been a problem otherwise. Even though this Model S has been left out in the rain a few times, it hasn't caused any problems. This is down inside the uh, battery bay and the connectors still work just fine. Um, this battery is brand new. Uh, like I said, um, Radio Flyer sent it to me when the other battery stopped working. So that's nice of them. So nothing there to review other than potentially in the lifespan of the battery, especially if you leave it in the rain, it might have to get replaced. Um, you can push a button here and it shows you how charged up the battery is. And then this is the switch that goes between three miles an hour and six miles per hour. The kids love being able to switch this back and forth. And depending on the circumstances, sometimes I ask them to keep it slow, like when somebody's riding in the front. Uh, but Lucy loves to put it in number two, go faster, and she likes to go downhill and then turn sideways and do power drift sideways. The seat here, as you saw, two kids can sit side by side on it pretty well, and this seat stays where it's supposed to be, but you can also fairly easily lift it up, and then these are the motors beneath it. So we have various detritus in here that's found its way in. Otherwise, it's really simple. There's uh, a motor here. This is one of the motors here, and then the other motor is right here. And then they must have some kind of belt system that goes back to the axle here. As I mentioned, the motors are pretty loud, but they're loud when they're new too. So that's not unique to a, an older one. 
Now, when the kids are done writing it, I have them park it right here so that I can just pick it up and set it right here so that this way it takes up far less space and they're able to, uh, or we're able to keep other things in the garage and it doesn't take up as much space as if they had just parked it and walked away. To charge it, you can actually just pop out the battery here and then we keep the electrical cord right here and so we can just plug it into the battery directly right here. Uh, another thing that we do, because the kids like to do it, is the charge port door is right here on the side. And so we just keep the charger here on the ground and we just plug it in right here and it charges it back up. Now something that is important for lithium ion batteries and Radio Flyer says this, if you push this light and you can see that it has five bars there and four of them are lit, it's a good idea to not uh, completely charge the battery and leave it fully charged constantly. So we actually let it go down to about two lights remaining and then we'll charge it back up. And sometimes if I get around to it, I'll unplug it early so that it doesn't stay fully charged for long periods of time. So that battery should last us for quite some time yet. Something else worth noting is the battery life. We have the extended range battery and it is really good. Like they can be riding all day long on a full charge pretty much at least as much stamina as little kids have. Um, I typically uh, don't fully charge it and then they ride it around for a while and they can potentially even do that a couple of times before I'll notice that the battery is low enough and I go ahead and plug it in. So battery life is far better than any other RC car I've ever seen. And now that you've seen how well the Kid Tesla has held up after about two years of usage, I'm going to jump back about six months in time and show you how it went when we unveiled it to our kids and how excited they were when we first got it. And for what it's worth, they are still super excited to ride it around. Hey girls, Hi. what you doing? Coloring. Well, I was coloring, but then I stopped. Oh, okay. Do you want to see a surprise? Okay, come here. Come, okay, Clara, get down and then come follow us. I'm going to show you a surprise outside, Clara. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> it's a little kid Tesla! Just like I was wishing for. I want to go on a drive in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have to take turns, okay? Can okay. I go? Yeah, you can. I'm not entirely sure what that weird grinding sound is, but it goes away after a couple of seconds. <laughs> okay, let Lydia have a turn. Okay. Lydia, you turn it. You push it right here. Now push the pedal. There you go. Go. Go, go, go. Turn, turn. 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 <laughs> yeah, there you go. Watch out your feet, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy picked up on how the steering wheel works immediately and she's five years old, but Lydia is three years old and it took a, her a little bit longer to figure that out. Daddy, I want to go full speed. Go ahead. <laughs> how did you know that switch did that? <laughs> For quite some time prior to getting this little kid Tesla, I had watched some YouTube videos about it and the girls had wanted to watch those and asked for them often. And so she said there, I've always watched the videos on YouTube, I think is what she said. I'm gonna come back up and then go forward again. Now go forward. Now come back. Those hard plastic tires definitely leave traction lacking. And you can see that Lydia has much more confidence in how to drive it and how the steering wheel works now. While Lydia was still learning, she tended to go in circles a lot, which was still lots of fun for her. And uh, as you can see, the girls enjoyed riding this around all winter long, as long as uh, it wasn't overly snowy and slippery. Watch out, Daddy. Are you having fun, Clara?
when this was recorded and the girls were first given this uh, kid Tesla, uh, Clara Keep here going, was Clara. almost two years old go, go, and she go, definitely go, go. struggled for a while to understand the correlation between the go. steering wheel and the way it's turned and that it affects the direction the car was going. So she <laughs> oh, understood to push the, the accelerator pedal and it would go and then she'd go, just Claire, go, go off on the grass constantly. And it's kind of funny, yeah, she tended to get see. stuck in the grass more than the other girls, and I imagine it has something to do with her weight. Go, Clara. It wasn't very uh, go, heavy, go, so it go. Just, just spun on the grass and didn't get as much traction. So the other girls were constantly being good sports about it and were helping to push her around, Clara, turn. You're gonna as hit you the can rocks. see here. And um, she'd still just run into things, so she just didn't understand that she was still steering okay, at that go. point. Okay, go. Push it, Clara. Push it. Can you help her, Lucy? Clara definitely loves riding around in the kid Tesla. Go! Go, Clara! But it is a little bit advanced for her age, it would seem. Are you stuck? So although it definitely is showing signs of use and abuse, it is still working, and that's the most important part. And it still is a ton of fun for our kids, so I highly recommend it. If your child is about three years old, I would maybe hesitate, but you could get it and, and they'll learn it you know, sooner. Uh, if they're five years old or older though, they'll probably jump in it and be able to drive it just fine. If you're interested in watching any other videos that I upload every Friday about our electric vehicles, renewable energy, or just technology in general, as well as family adventures, feel free to subscribe to my channel, change the bell notification to all, and you will get notified every time I upload. And thanks for watching.